Good morning everyone, today I want to share with you the last push you need to do when you're editing your photos to take them from good to great. We're gonna be editing the photo that we shot last time in the tunnel in Paris, so let's get right into it. Alright guys, welcome to a new episode. As you know, we have photos to edit from the previous episode where I was shooting in the tunnel. Well, as I promised you, we would edit them together. So we're gonna go from that photo to that photo and how we go from this to that. And the goal is really to talk about the small changes that will make a very big difference in your photos. It's gonna take your photo from good to great by doing small adjustments. Now I'm gonna, not gonna talk about the basics of editing which are the normal sliders and all that. I wanna dive into the local adjustments which I believe are the most important things ever when you're editing photos. This is what will make or break a photo. It will take it to the next level, all that. So let's dive right into it. So open up your Lightroom if you have a Lightroom and play around with a photo. But right now I wanna explain to you my thought process how I'm gonna edit that photo. So when I'm looking at that photo, first of all, what do I realize? I've got a subject here, we've got my friend Gabby, we've got all those leading lines with in the tunnel. This is exactly with the effect I was trying to create during that photo. But the problem, as you might notice, is that it's very dark. So first thing I do is I press the plus minus buttons, I increase my exposure a little bit, maybe like that, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change uh, the temperature color, which means I'm just gonna make it a little bit cooler because I believe the colors really get interesting. We've got a little bit more pink, we've got a little bit of a few shades of blue. For me, this is exactly the style I'm looking for in that photo, a little futuristic feel. Now, when you're editing, remember, it's easier to start with exposure, colors, color temperature, and then move on to all the other sliders, the curves, and all that. If you don't know exactly how I edit from scratch, I have another video where I edit from scratch everything. But now, because this is real life, I'm gonna use one of the profile I created, which is perfect in that situation. It's called Tokyo by Night, and I'm gonna pick the 01 or the 02. It gives me the exact feel I want. And I don't know if you guys have ever applied pre profiles, but it's like presets, but it's much better. By the way, if you already grabbed my presets, you know you have the profiles included in them. So please try them out. I think it's a huge time saver because it's so much faster and you have a slider to adjust the amount you want it to be applied to your image. So here I'm gonna apply it like that. Boom, I kind of like the result. We can already see the before, after, just with those small tweaks. And we're like, looks kind of good. It's nice, but something is missing. So the story I was trying to tell here is really going into that futuristic tunnel and having my subject Gabby as a photographer who she's just enjoying there. But the problem is like she kind of blends in at the moment. So what I want to do is really make her pop. Now there are a few ways we're gonna do that. Uh, I think you can use a radial filter and your radial filter is gonna create a little box around as you can see. Um, or you can actually come and use your brush tool. Now, in the latest versions of Lightroom, the, those brush tools and the radiant filter, the gradient filters, they became really, really, really good. You can do so many things. You can apply it only to certain colors, only to certain type of lights. I will show you in a second. It's gonna be amazing. So let's start by painting over Gabby. So Gabby is here. We're painting a little bit. Obviously, I'm doing a really bad job right now, so I'm gonna clean it up. Blah, 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 blah. There we go. And here, what do I want here? So this is my green overlay. What do I want? I actually want to increase the shadows. Just by bringing up the shadows already, it makes a very big difference. Now, if you were to increase the exposure instead, it would look totally fake. It clearly looks fake. But when you do the shadows, it's a lot more subtle, so you can go a little bit further. So imagine you just stopped here and you're like, oh, that's pretty cool. Let's just look at the before after and let's look at the before after with the brush. Look, just that makes a very big difference. Now, I do want to add a little bit of clarity and sharpness into Gabby's face because I think uh, it was a little bit soft, as you can see. I think it makes it a little bit crisper on my subject. Now the next thing I want to do 
is actually really make those leading lines stronger. And for that, as you can realize, they are light lines. Light lines. Light lines. Uh, I hope that makes sense. By the way, guys, while I'm grabbing my brush tool, I just want to say I tried to record that video on a really cool gondola like you saw in the intro, but my microphone died. And yeah, so if the sound is not the best right now, I'm really sorry. I need a new microphone. Uh, the cable is dead. I need to have it changed. All that. It's not fun. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint. So I just press O to toggle on off uh, where you're painting. If you press O on your keyboard, if you don't know it, you see it appear or you don't see it. And I think if you press Shift O, you can change the color of the overlay. Ah, amazing. I love it in green because really, really strong um, contrast. Okay. So my goal here is going to paint over that section to really bring out the highlights. The highlights are going to, in my opinion, really define or help guide the eye towards uh, those leading lines and have, have your eye actually follow it. So now, as you can see, this is what I painted. Now we're gonna just play with the highlight, crank it up, and you can see it, it does make a difference, it's cool. And here I can see that I painted a little bit too far in here, so I'm gonna remove that. Um, it does make a big difference, in my opinion, on the light. So here, that's cool. But now, what, what I don't want, really what I don't want, is to brighten up the dark side. I actually like that contrast. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna go here, range mask, and I'm gonna say luminance, and luminance here, look, it's gonna show me, what, what happens? It's gonna show me what part is affected when I drag it. So here, if I go that way, I only want the very high lights. And here, if I go to the left, I only want the darks. But in our case, I want only the highlights. So I'm gonna move it that way. There we go. And now I'm actually make, gonna make it a little bit stronger, the highlights. And there we go. And I think here, I'm going a little bit too dirty on that wall. I can see it now. And a little bit here too, in case you didn't notice. Well, I totally noticed. So far, I kind of really like that photo. We're gonna look at before, after. So far, we're here. So before and after. For me, that makes a very big difference. I actually really like the very bright feel uh, to that image. So I'm just gonna leave it like that, to be honest. I don't need to do more. Just those small tweaks made a big difference. And as you can see, we shot that 2.5 second handheld. Oh no, it was on the gimbal, sorry. F11 and um, 16 millimeter. So that's my final result. Boom, before, after, huge difference. Woo, we're good. I really like my final product. I press the F button just to have it in full screen. And I'm like, wow, that's great. I didn't expect that when we went out shooting. So now we're gonna look at that photo before, after. What can we do here? Here it's gonna be the same principle, so let's do it super quickly. First of all, gonna bump up that exposure, so hit that plus. Funny because I have a tendency to underexpose. Um, it's good, it's bad, it's, it's really up to you. Now I'm gonna bring the temperature a little bit down. Maybe I'm gonna add a little bit of tint uh, on that side. Yeah, that looks super futuristic, I love it. Maybe a little bit warmer still. Yeah, 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 we've got pink, we've got orange, we've got blue. This is beautiful, okay. Apply your preset, ap apply the profile that you want to use really to get that, that kind of feel that you're going for. Here I'm gonna stay consistent, so I'm gonna use Tokyo by Night also. I'm gonna make a little bit stronger, here we go. Uh, that's our image, and right now my goal again is going to have Gabby stand out, which means I'm going to take my little brush here. I'm going to, to paint over her. Now I'm gonna bump up a little bit the shadows and I'm going to reduce a little bit the temperature because I think it's really orange on her face and I just want to bring it a little bit more back to the blues and whites. Okay, so we're good, we've got that. Uh, put a little bit of clarity on Gabby, some sharpness and here we go. That's, that's the first part. Now the second part, as I mentioned, is going to really increase our highlights. So here, we're gonna be painting. And actually, maybe on that image after, I will do it on top too. So, auto mask, yes. Uh, range mask, yes please. Luminance, and now, boom. This is the part of the image I want to be affected by. And here, we've got a little bit too much. And that's it. 
that is what I wanted. Yeah, I really like that. Do you guys see the result already before, after? Let's look at it. Before, after, boom. It's not a huge difference, but in my opinion, it makes a big difference. I hope that makes sense for you. Now, there are a bunch of things you could do here. You could actually add a gradient filter and maybe darken a little bit the sides. Uh, let's see what that looks like. Again, I'm just testing out just to see what happens. So imagine you did it like that. Um, yeah, that's not actually, you know what? Actually, I think that's not bad. That's actually not bad. It really helps focus your eye whenever you're looking somewhere. So that's great. Now I might want to add a little bit more clarity in that image simply because I think we can make it crisper. You, you know that crispy feel. And here I'm going to drop a little bit the blacks and bring up the shadows a tiny bit. And I think we're good. I think we're good. We did all local adjustments. We added gradient filters. We, what, did, what else did we do? We did all local adjustment, gradient filters, brush tool, all that. And this is how it looks. Now, last thing is once you're done with your image, if you're happy with it, that's awesome. But sometimes you also want to add a little bit of more colors, which means in my highlights, I might want to make it a little bit warmer like that because I just think it looks cool or a little bit bluer in the shadows. So it's really up to you. This is where you can play with the light and all that. This is split toning. So split toning, that side is only for the highlights which means you can choose what kind of color you want to be more present in the highlights. And here you choose what kind of color you want to be more present in the blue, as you can see. No, what color you want more present in the shadows. Look at that saturation. You can see that's in most highlights. So I just made it a little bit more um, colorful. Let's call it like that, colorful. So that's my before after. Let's look at our image before and after. I don't know about you, but for me, this makes a very, very big difference. And now, uh, as you might have seen, the thumbnail is actually that image. And this is before and this is after for the thumbnail. Here, I did the exact same thing. I went in, painted all over that, made that camera a little bit sharper, crisper, because this is my new subject. Um, and then I also went to paint uh, all the leading lines, all that. It looks absolutely awesome in my opinion and i think it's really important to do those small adjustments guys the don't be afraid to use the brush tool don't be afraid to use the gradient tool that will make the biggest difference in your image your whole goal is really to tell a better story so for example when we had that shot with gabby it was really about bringing gabby out of that frame second uh, same thing for the second shot and for the camera it's all about the camera so obviously you're gonna really emphasis on the elements that you want to be crisp in your image and no it's not cheating it's that's how it's been done forever even when you were going to your lab with film photography they would actually uh, do changes depending on how they would process it so Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys learned something. Let me know in the comments if you got any question, if there is anything here that you want to see a little bit more of. And if you don't have any presets, if you don't have any profiles, do it yourself. But if you have some, really slap them onto your photos. And then from there, that is where the beauty is. Do your local adjustment. This is where your creativity will shine through. Now, that's it, guys. This is how I take my photos from good to great in a matter of a few seconds. And the beauty is you can also do that on your Lightroom mobile if you're using Lightroom mobile. And that's great. Uh, you have the presets, the profile that are resting to it, and the local adjustments are working now. And it's actually very fast, very practical. Maybe I should do a tutorial on that one day. All right, guys, with that being said, I'm gonna let you go for today. If you've got any question, hit the comment section. Let me know how you liked that video. And, and, and next video is going to be a street photography challenge with the one and only Sean Tucker. So please hit that SUBCRBB button. I can't speak anymore. Ring that notification bell. It's going to make you huge. It's going to be amazing. And I will see you in the next episode for that challenge. Guys, thank you so much for the support. I cannot believe there are so many more of you right now. We're like 28,000. Woo! Amazing. Thank you. Welcome to all of you guys. See you in the next episode. Bye. Bye.